Hello sa inyo lahat, Victory May Kawayan. We're so excited to be here. And again, thank you for joining us in our online service. And just like what Marloyd said, next week po, babalik na tayo on-site. Ayan. And the reason why we did that, uh, because again, we want to, well, so many people are sick the past, the first two, three weeks of January. And um, there's a surge that happened. So, tayo, nag-volunteer na lang tayo na, oh, sige, hindi na lang muna kami mag-meet on-site. And that's why we did that. And uh, ngayon, cases are low. I hope you are okay. If you need prayers, kung may COVID kayo, uh, please, um, you can message us so we can pray for you. And thank you for being here. Again, next week, ano, na-miss namin kayo. Laka-laka nitong lugar na to. And yet, um, uh, walang tao. So we, we, we are excited to be back next week in our services. Meron pa rin po tayong online, sa bayan na yan. Online ng 9, and on-site ng 9, 11, on-site ng 11, online ng 11, and then 4 p.m. online and on-site. Let's uh, start by reading God's Word, John chapter 8. So may I invite you to stand up. One of the few things I want to change this year is that I want to start with reading the Word of God every start of the sermon. Because I believe just reading the Word of God, it, there's, it, it frees us already. There's so much power already just by reading the Word of God. So please, starting next week, sana may hawak tayong Bible. Sana hawak natin yung ating uh, phone, the, the Bibles there, so we can read together, okay? John chapter 8, verse 31. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever, the sun remains forever. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me because my word finds no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and, and you do what you have heard from your father. God bless the reading of his word. Lord, guide us. I pray indeed that the word will set us free, God. It's not an idea. It's not... Uh, a, 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 um, a, a cry, it's not a, a, a theme or a anything that will free us. It's a person. You are the liberator. You, you set us free. God, thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you, can, you may now take your seats. One of the things that kept us busy for... The past two weeks, and actually, it it brings so much debate. Sa atin, mga tao, mga Pilipino, is the presidential interviews. Okay, both by Jessica Soho and by uh, Boya Bunda. And uh, like what I say, no, pwede naman tayong magbigay ng opinion. Wag lang tayong magaway, kasi may kanya-kanya namang strength yung mga uh, presidential candidates. Uh, in fact, I would like to encourage you to do your homework. Kasi sigurado, when, when the presidents were, the, the aspiring ca- candidates, candidates were announced, I'm sure meron kang default na siya, siya yung gusto ko. But do your homework. Uh, listen to the interviews, listen to the, the views, about certain um, issues, right? Mga kailangang ayusin sa, sa gobyerno, sa Pilipinas, mga platforms nila and all. Ako nga, na-experience ko na nag, nag, medyo nagpapalit-palit. Dati siya yung gusto ko. Tapos pag narinig ko siya, medyo maka-off ako. May sinabi siya na hindi ako agree. And then I, I would try to, oh, sige, sige, try ko nga to, sige ganito. And then, and then, and then, and then there's an p- opinion that probably I won't like, and then change. And I hope that that will we'll do that up to May. Wag lang tayong close-minded na basta. 
Kahit anong issue dyan, kahit anong iba to dyan, kahit anong, yan talaga siya talaga gusto ko. So I hope that we'll be responsible for that. And let's have healthy discussions. Kami sa mga staff, ginagawa namin yan. Okay, nagkakaroon kami ng healthy debate about why him, why her. So do that. And na-realize ko lang to when I was making this message, I guess the reason why we're so careful and we're so afraid about who will become president, there's a lot of things. But I think the, one of the main reasons, if, not, if, if it's not on the top, is that we don't want to lose our freedom. Ibig sabihin, we're afraid that a certain president might take away some privileges, might take away some rights, na dati nagagawa natin to, baka hindi niya na to pagawa, hindi niya na magawa, uh, dahil ayaw niya, hindi siya agree dito, and we want to be careful. In fact, kung meron lang siguro ang presidente na magsasabing, lahat ng gusto nyo, bibigay ko, eh baka yun ang iboto mo. Because yun yung idea natin ng freedom. Right? We're so afraid that we will lose the freedom that our, our, our heroes, Bonifacio and, and Rizal and, and all of these heroes, sacrificially gave us. They gave their lives for us to be free and now we're just giving it away. Kaya nga pinaglalaban natin yung uh, Spratlys, the, the South China Sea and all of these um, uh, places because we believe it's ours. We fought for it. Therefore, no one can take it away. Ayaw natin na mawala yung freedom natin. And all of us, admit it or not, shouts for that, longs for that, fights for that. As early as maybe one year old, meron ka ng mga pinapagawa ang tatay mo sa'yo na ayaw mong gawin. Uh, we have three kids, no? And, and we can see this. Kitang-kita namin to kay Boaz. Boaz just turned one. last December 29, and, and dati, wala naman siya, wala naman siyang opinion, wala naman siyang preference. Kung anong sabihin namin sa kanya, gagawin niya. Pero ngayon, ngayon, talagang, uh, no, bawas, don't do that, don't eat it. Tapos magagalit siya, sabi niya, blah, blah. Ganun ang cute-cute, diba? parang little devil. Uh, tapos, gaganun, tapos magagalit, papaluin yung table. <coughs> yung parang, As, as early as that, he cannot communicate it. But parang sinasabi niya, ba't niyo ba ako pinapakailaman? Eh, ito gusto ko. Ito gusto kong gawin. And, and it starts from a very young age. And when it grows and it grows bigger and we become more and more like that. In fact, insecure tayo kay Dora kasi si Dora, four years old lang, nagagawa niya na gusto niya. Okay? Mas marami pa siyang napaklik. Mas marami pa siyang nagagawa. Okay, kaysa uh, tayo. Okay, si Dora, four years old, kung saan siya nakakapunta. Sino mo mga magulang na ito? Ayan, um, pero, pero, pero ikaw, 35 years old na, tinatanong ka pa kung anong oras ka uuwi ng nanay mo. Okay, uh, anong oras ka uuwi, gabi na, uwi ka na. Ayan, so, so, we are afraid that we might lose our freedom. Define muna nga natin what is freedom. what we think freedom is. And siguro, ito yung kala nating definition ng freedom. Freedom is doing what I want, when I want it, how I want it, and where I want it. Okay? Pag, pag tinanong yung iba, ano ba yung kalayaan para sa'yo? Ah, kung nagagawa ko yung gusto ko, kung kailan ko gawin, kung paano ko gustong gawin, at kung saan ko gustong gawin. And when there are rules and laws that says otherwise, we'll be mad. Bakit? Bakit bawal kumain dito? Okay. Bakit, bakit hindi pwede kaming ikasal? Okay. Bakit, bakit, bakit siya pwede ako hindi? Okay. Bakit yung ganito, basta gusto mo magawa yung gusto mo kung kailan mo gusto kung paano mo gustong gawin at kung saan mo gustong gawin. I want to submit to you today that that is not the freedom that Jesus gives. 
In fact, it's the exact opposite. So, ito na naman, the upside down kingdom of God. Kabaliktaran. Kasi, kung kala natin, freedom is no rules. <laughs> freedom is anarchy. It's the exact opposite. Because the Bible teaches, the day I relinquished, or the day I surrendered my autonomy, the day I surrendered my self-rule, was the day I'm finally free. Medyo oxymoron yun, no? Medyo it's, it's upside down. The day I stopped controlling my life, the day I stopped my autonomy, the day I stopped being the Lord and Master of my life, is the day I'm finally free. Kabalik ta yun because the world shouts, The famous poem, Invictus, that Nelson Mandela um, put in his heart. Sabi doon, I am the captain of my, uh, 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 I am the, cap- the lord of my ship, the captain of my soul. Ako'y nagpapatakbo na, ng ship ko. Kung mayroong kotse, ako yung driver. And every one of you are just... Um, Um, passengers. Ako nagpapatakbo ng buhay ko. I want to ask you three questions today. Number one, who is your master? Sino ba talaga yung master mo? And when I ask that question, you will probably say, wala. Wala akong master. Parang, hindi nga eh. Kaya nga gusto kong maging negosyante kasi ayoko na may boss. Okay? Kaya nga ayoko maging empleyado kasi gusto kong mag-boss. Nang walang, nang walang boss. And how dare you say that, that I have a master? But, but that's exactly what the Jews said. Sabi dito sa verse 31, So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in Him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Sabi ni Jesus, If you will abide in my teaching, if you will obey my teaching, magiging disciple ko kayo. Kung mag kayo, magiging disciple ko kayo, if you will hold on to my teaching, if you will remain in me, and ako yung magpapalaya sa inyo. Na Ines, yung mga Jews, sabi niya, we are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. Although that's weird, Ron, kasi they're under Roman rule <laughs> nung time na yon. So technically, they're slaves to Rome. Right? And, and sa sabi nila, wala kaming master. Anyway, sabi nila, We are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is that you say you will become free? Sabi niya, sabi niya lang kay Jesus, and, 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 and probably that's the same thing. When I go out there and say, alam mo, tita, tito, kuya, ate, you're not free. You're in chains. And, and they will say, hindi ah. I'm not, I, I, I'm not enslaved to anything. Pag sinabi ko sa kanilang, Jesus will set you free, they will say, I don't need to be freed. I'm fine. But every one of us, we are enslaved to something. Every one of us, we have a must, master. Okay, sabi niya, uh, truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practice sin is a slave to sin. So, ito yung idea. The world is saying, freedom means you don't have a master. No, no, no. Jesus is saying, Christianity is saying, freedom is having the right master. Okay? Freedom is having the right master. Let me ask you this question. What are you living for? Who are you living for? Kanino ka ba nabubuhay? There is, a, pag tinanong ko yan, very quickly, may maiisip ka. I'm sure. Because you just don't know, but this is the thing that's keeping you alive. This is the thing that makes you wake up every day. And you will probably say, for my wife, for my children, for my company, sang libo yung empleyado namin, I, they need me. And I would say probably for the, the church, for victory, and for, for my career. Okay? Because whatever that is you are living for, That becomes your Lord. Ulit. 
Whatever that is that you are living for, that's your Lord. That's your master. And your master will control you. And that's why you will do all things just to obey your master. When we think of being slaves, automatic lang natin naiisip the bad things, the external things like umiinom, nagsusugal, addict, uh, sa droga, babaero, sinungaling, chismosa, mamamatay tao, magnanakaw. And kala natin, basta wala tayo doon sa mga area na yon, I'm fine. I'm not enslaved to anything. But you can be a slave to your career. You can be a slave to your image. Your image is your master. I have to look good. I, 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 uh, my family needs to look good. Dapat walang masasabing masama sa pamilya natin. And we will fight for that. Okay, it could be your business. That I have to run this business because many people are expecting me to do well. Maybe it's the ministry. Even me. If I will not have a heart check every time, kala ko I'm serving God, hindi pala. I'm serving the ministry. I'm serving myself. My car- career, my image. I would, I would think na kailangan maganda yung preaching para mabago yung mga tao. Yung pala, hindi na. It's about me na. Kailangan maganda yung preaching kasi ganun ako. Dapat maganda lagi preaching ko. You understand? It could be my master. It could be your relationships. Uh, it could be your wife. Na mahal na mahal mo yung asawa mo. Wala, wala kang pwedeng, wala siyang pwedeng sabihin na dapat Na, na hindi kayo agree. And that's right, yes. Pero pag sinabi niyang, basta huwag ka mag-church, tigilan mo yung born again. O tigilan mo yan kasi iwan ng kita. Diba? That, that fear. It could be your spouse. It could be your children. Nagagawin ko lahat para sa mga anak ko. Iingatan ko sila, di ba rin ang mawala tong mga relationship na to para sa mga anak ko. That's great, that looks good, that sounds good. But is your children becoming your master? Pwedeng love life mo, pwedeng games, pwedeng aksi. Okay, napupuyat ka na dyan sa kaka-aksi or kaka-ML o kaka-COD uh, or NBA. It could be that. And, and if you look at this, hobby, sports, talents, if you look at this, wala namang masama dyan eh. All of these things are great. All of these things are good. It's just that it could be your master. You could be living for all of these things. Sabi ni Kyle Eidelman, what you are searching for and chasing after reveals the God that is winning the war in your heart. Tim Keller says, our heart are idol factories. So, every single day, actually, merong kang idol. Merong, uh, idol is a, a, a person that you worship. So, kala mo lang wala, kala mo lang wala kang idolatry, pero lahat tayo meron. Meron tayong hinahabol, eh, you know, chasing. Meron tayong pini-please. Meron tayong We want to we want that we're feeding that every day. It's like a god. A small letter G god. Uh, I've been waiting and waiting for the perfect time to use any of the encanto as our uh, illustration. Sakto. Siya kasi talaga yung naisip ko, okay? Um, hindi po encanto po hindi po to movie yung mga nakakatakot, mga vampira, tikbalang de no? Kasi parang ganun eh, tunog ganun. Encanto is enchanted in Spanish. Okay, and um, I'm sure na, na napanood yun na to, nakanta nyo na rin yung We don't talk about Bruno, no. We don't talk daw, no. But, on our wedding day, galing yun, no? We don't talk, tapos, but, uh, if, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, why? Okay, um, chat nyo si Marlon. <laughs> Bro, baka nga chat kanila. Hindi, kailangan lang po ng Disney Plus 
subscription. Ayan. Legit tayo dito, pre. Okay. Um, si Luisa, one of the, the eldest sister nung pamilya um, nila Julieta, pangalan ng tatay? Marites, napag-alo-alo na yun. No? Uh, siya yung eldest sister. And from, kasi ang lakas niya eh. Okay? May, ang power niya or gift niya, malakas siya. So from the onset, parang, a uh, onset, parang, wow, no one can harm her. No one can hurt her. No one can, and, 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 and she's helping everyone. Okay? Pag sinabing, kailangan namin maglipat ng bahay, hindi bubuhatin niya lang yung bahay. Okay, tara, game, ganun siya. And every day she does that. And it looks fine. Until one of her songs, which is I think one of my favorites, um, she, she sang this. Ito sabi niya, um, Give it to your sister and never wonder if the same pressure would pull you under. Who am I if I don't have what it takes? Ito, ito yung sabi niya. Who am I if I don't have what it takes? So I was, it was, it's a happy song, but nung napakinggan ko siya for the first time, and actually even now, medyo I'm emotional about it, na, nasasaktan ako para sa kanya. Kasi hindi niya lang alam that she's enslaved to her image. She's enslaved to her purpose. She's enslaved to her family. She's enslaved to her abuela's opinion. She's enslaved to everyone's opinion. Na dapat lahat ng iba to niyo sa akin, kayanin ko. Dapat lahat ng pagsubok, kayanin ko. Dapat lahat ng mabibigat na bagay, kaya kong buhatin literally. Kasi pag wala na lahat yun, sino na lang ako? Wala na akong kwenta kung mawala yung lakas ko. And this is the picture of us. If we will not understand the gospel, kaya nga freedom eh. Kasi pinapalaya ka sa maling thoughts, maling pressure. Wala namang magpe-pressure sa'yo eh. Anong sabi ni Jesus? Anong sabi niya? Come unto me. Oh, you are tired, you're weary, and you're... you're, you're holding something big, you're heavily laden, I will give you rest. Because what I'm carrying, it's light. So maraming bagay na binubuhat mo, pre, kapatid, okay, beshi, na pwede mo naman palang bitawan. It's a false pressure. And no one really put that on you but yourself. Maybe the world, maybe your parents, But you can let go of it now. Pwede mo nang bitawan yan. Right now. Again, we don't want that to be your master. We don't want performance to be your master. Kailangan lagi ako nagpe-perform. And I don't blame you because that's what the world says to us. You're only as good as your last performance. Who is your master? I hope you have a different master starting now. Um, again, this is wrong. This is not the definition of freedom. It's not anarchy. It's not no rules. No. Freedom is having the right master. And that right master is Jesus Christ. The only one that we can that can, can really set us free. Number two, why do we need it? Bakit ba natin kailangan ma-free? Sabi ni Jesus, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever in the house. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Tingnan na natin yung definition ng slave and son here in this verse that Jesus said. Yung slave daw can be cast out any moment. Sabi doon, the slave cannot remain in the house forever. 
So, wala ano yun. Walang pirma-pirma ng kontrata yun. Pag naisipan nung master, oy, ayoko na nga pala sa'yo, umalis ka na. And, and you have to understand, and, and it's very different nung time na yun. In the first century, how we treat slaves. Today, we don't call them slaves. We call them helpers, right? They help us. That's their job. But we treat them with love and respect. Nung time na yun, hindi ganun. You're, you're just an object to us, right? They can be cast out any moment. They can be mapalayas any moment. Oh, wag ka na. Ayaw na kitang makita. Alis, layas. So, wala na siyang bahay. Wala siyang trabaho. Okay? The slave can, ha- they need to work for everything. Hindi yan, di ba? Pag nakikita niyo yung mga movie, nandun lang yan sa may gilid, nakaganon. Hindi yan pwedeng, wala pa naman, manunod mo na Netflix. Okay, tapusin ko muna yung Netflix. Saka ko gagawin yung trabaho ko. We have to work for everything. It's, it's literally working for what you're gonna eat later. Because kung di mo ginawa yung trabaho mo, eh, umalis ka na, eh, pati pagkain mo. They don't have standing at all. They don't have... They will never be part of the family. Kahit gaano pa katagal yung slave sa panahon nila, he doesn't have a standing. He doesn't have the family name. He, in, in simply put, he or she will never be a child. But a son is different. Sabi ni Jesus, A son remains in the house forever. One perfect example is the prodigal son. Diba? He went out and he splurged his money and then when he went back, in fact, the, the prodigal son had a, a slave mindset. Sabi niya, pagkatrabahuhan ko na lang so I can buy myself back. So I can be a son again. Sabi nung daddy niya, without saying anything, you don't have to do that. You did not Lose your standing. You don't have to work. Because you're, 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 you're always a child. It will never change. You well doesn't have to work. Okay, when he wants to eat, uh, I will not stop him. Bawa nasa ref siya, tapos naghanap siya ng pagkain. I will not say, you well before you eat. Can you do something for the house? You have to earn that. Okay? I, you're holding a banana. You have to earn that banana. Maybe you, I know, you, you, you clean, you wash, you wash three dishes or you wash three plates before you eat that banana. It's never like that in the house because he's a child. I will provide for him. And his standing will never change. Ngayon, kapatid, kung wala kang freedom, na totoo, if you don't have freedom, you will feel like that Louisa mindset, the Isabella mindset, kung naparad yung movie si Isabella naman, needs to be perfect every time, needs to be beautiful every time, needs to be flawless every time, and the, eh, sobrang pressure. Slave. I have to do this for the family. It's gonna be a tiring life pagka ganun. There's an interesting verse in Numbers 32. Sabi doon, but if you fail to do this, you will be sinning against the Lord and you may be sure, and in another translation, it's gonna be sure, you will be sure that your sin will find you out. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Hindi naman sinabing God will find out. Because God already knows. God already knows your sin. Hindi rin sinabing people will find out. Although that's, already, that's also true. Right? Luke 12 verse 2, there's nothing hidden that will not be put to light. So everything that we're, hid, we're hiding, our skeletons in our closet, it will be found out. Okay? But that's not what it says. It says your sin will find you out. It's like, it's like your sin will, um, 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 will mock you. 
na nananahimi ka one day in your room and then your sin, your past sin will taunt you, will laugh at you, will condemn you, and will play games on you. And will destroy you. Na, preach, preach ka pa dyan, eh, away nga kayo ng asawa mo. And, and you will remember the stupid decisions that you did. The, the bad things, the evil things na, that you did. The terrible things that you have done in the past year. Na alam mo naman na pinatawad ka na ni Lord. And yet, oh man, maalala mo talaga. And there's a lot of times that happens to me. Nagbabay ka ko, tapos maalala ko, oh man. Ah, bakit ko ba kasi ginawa yun? Ba't ko ba nagawa yun? Ba't ko ba nagsabi yun? Ba't ko ba, um, everything. Okay? The Bible calls it a conscience. And on one end, it's good, right? It keeps us grounded. It keeps us reminding us that we're sinners to the core. Pero kung di natin maintindihan yung freedom na binibigay ni Jesus, you're living your life like this. And that's the reason why you probably, you're not attending church anymore. Naniwala ka na kasi dyan sa, sa multo ng kasalanan mo. Na-convince ka niya. Natigilan mo na yung pagiging born again, di ka naman bumabait. Sabi ni Paul, For I delight in the law of God, in my inner being, but I see in my members another law waging war against the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Sabi ni Paul, may nag-aaway, may nag sa loob ng katauhan ko. And I want to do this, but, but I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. My flesh Uh, I'm, 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 I'm captive, I'm slave to, to my flesh. Sinusunod, sinusunod ko to. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Grabe yung hopelessness, no? Grabe, wretched man, condemned man, I am. Who will deliver me from this body of death? Um, Marlo, I need your help again. Ayan. In, in Roman times, pala pa kanya naman si Martin Lloyd, nag-tuck in pa yan para maging illustration ng prisoner. Okay? Um, there's what you call the body of death. And, and, and it's not just a figure of speech. It's actually a literal form of torture, body of death. Uh, kung bawa, si Martin Lloyd ay isang prisoner, he will be thrown into the dungeon that there's no way out together with other criminals. And the body of death is a literal body of a dead person. So may patay na tao na ang gagawin ay isusu. Uh, S-E-W. Tatahiin together with you. So imagine mo, dikit, dikit yung face nyo Dikit yung arms nyo, dikit yung buong body nyo, and you carry this body of death like this everywhere you go. Ayan, mag-alcohol ka na lang bro, later. Thank you. Palapakan natin si Marlo. Thank you. So imagine mo, you're alive. You're alive. Wala namang ginawa sa'yo. <laughs> hindi ka naman sinwilya elektrika, hindi ka naman... Um, Uh, pinutulan ng ulo, pero mas mahira pa. Kasi what? You're dying, you're dying every day. You're dying inside. I am dying inside to hold. You're dying every day. Bakit? Nagde-decompose yung katawan eh. Eh, kadikit mo. So habang nagde-decompose yung katawan ng kadikit mo, nagde-decompose ka din. Kasi lumilipat yung mga uod, Baka kinakain ng daga, kakainin ka na din. Habang yung natural forces that makes a, 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 a corpse decompose, nangyayari din sa'yo. 
So, yun yung picture ng someone na slave sa sin. Pre, isipin mo nga yun. Hindi to simple. And if you're watching, you're hearing this for the first time, life without Jesus Christ is like that. Hindi to simple. Hindi to, and, and, and you think that you can stop easy? Hindi, ako, I'm sure marami na sa inyo nag-invite na magseryoso kay God. And, you're, and, and you think it's easy na, hindi, pagka, pag time ko na, oh, sige, mag-attend na ako, pag, 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 kaya ko na, pag ready na ako. You think it's just like that? It's like a switch? Na parang, okay, No! You're dying every day. You remember I talked about that two weeks ago? Word, the word gives life. Kapalik tala nun, if you are not abiding in Jesus Christ, you're dying every day. So sabi ni Paul, pambihirang buhay ito, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God. Buti na lang. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Condemnation is different from conviction. condemnation, yun, yun, yung kinikwento ko sa inyo kanina, your sin is finding you out. Your sin is mocking you. Why? Talaga ba? Magpo-full time ka da? Magiging missionary ka? Talaga ba? Mag-aasawa ka? After all the failed relationships, sa tingin mo, may magkakagusto pa sa'yo? Talaga ba? Sa tingin mo, ay pwede kang maging mabuting ama? Eh, eh, ganito ka nga? Talaga ba? Magbi-victory group ka na? Sasali ka na sa victory group? Naku, talaga ba? That's condemnation. And we're captives. We're not really free if we're like that. Now, the Holy Spirit convicts us. Conviction means, <sighs> it's like that person. In, remember, there's two persons. Sabi doon, the other guy, is proud and saying, Thank you, Lord. I'm not like this tax collector. But the other person, ni hindi siya makatingin sa langit, pero lumalapit siya sa Diyos. Sabi niya, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm a tax collector. I have been stealing from my own people. I'm sorry. I need your grace. And that should be our standing every time. Again, you're not a slave, you're a son. Kahit anong ginawang masama ng mga anak, pwedeng umuwi yan. Tatanggapin niya ng magulang. That's why we need Jesus. Jesus is the master that we want, that we need. Because only through Jesus, for the law of spirit, of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. I hope I convinced you already that we have masters that we need to kill, idols in our heart. We need it. The question now is how? How do we get this freedom? Okay, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Sabi ko kanina, freedom is having the right master. Alam na natin that this master is no other than Jesus. How can we be free, truly? Okay, if you, number one, abide, remain, hold on to my teachings. You are truly my disciples. And uh, disciples came from the word discipline. So there are th- two things I found here. How we can uh, have the freedom. Number one, complete obedience. Lordship. Naalala ko lang yung 
First time niyang tinawag yung mga disciples, di ba? Tinawag niya si Andrew and um, Simon. Um, tinawag niya, sabi niya, guys, psst, follow me. Hindi niya, si, hindi niya sinabing, guys, what do you want to do for your life? Ikaw, Peter, ano mang, ano mang pangarap mo? Ikaw, Andrew, ano mang pangarap mo? Uh, ikaw, John, di ba? John and James, ikaw, John, anong pangarap mo? No, 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 hey, 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 you, 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 follow me. That's complete obedience. And number two is discipline. Discipline. Let me give you an illustra- illustration. When you see someone very good at the craft, of his craft, maybe a singer or a pianist, or even a basketball player, or a actor, diba? may mga times mag improvise dyan, tawag doon na improvisation. Diba? Biglang, eto lang yung basic, trung, trung, biglang, Diba, parang wala nang notes yun, wala nang pyesa yun. Okay, when a lead guitarist will ting 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 ting, tapos biglang pag lead part, or pag kumakanta siya, di ba? Ay, grabe. You will say, grabe naman. Ang galing naman niya sa craft niya. He's so free. Di ba? He's just free to do anything he wants. Yes, that's true. But we did not see the discipline. That happened years before. Pag nakita natin yung mga basketball player na parang napakasimple namang mag-fade away. Di ba parang sure ball? Okay, parang si Devin Booker, parang pag fade away, pag nag-mid-range, parang napaka, napakasimple naman. We did not see the years of discipline, the every morning training how to dribble. We did not see the discipline, 30 minutes of piano lesson every day. We did not see the the late light, late late nights studying the notes and all. We just see the output of the freedom, but we do not see the discipline. So therefore, ito another oxymoron. Freedom is chained, being chained to the right master. Nakachain sila sa craft nila. Naka-chain sila sa ginagawa nila. I have to do this every single day of my life. Because this is my discipline. Kaya nga ang tawag sa uh, quiet time natin, spiritual disciplines. That's why we read the Bible every day. It's like your piano lesson every day. We read it. Right? Because that will free us. The Word, it looks legalistic. No, ano ba naman yan? Kailangan ba talagang gawin yan every day? Yes! Because that's the master, what the master is saying. That's what the master is, is telling us to do. And afterwards, will come the freedom. And we see all of these people. Mabawa si Pastor Steve, our founder. Grabe yun pag nag, nag-preach. You know, uh, one thing I want to share to you this uh, morning is uh, honor God. Tapos kami parang, wow, pray, boy, yun, pray. Iba yung tama. Oh, yun din naman sinabi niya, honor God. Wala na siyang bagong sinasabi. Pero parang, wow, bakit ang bigat ng preaching niya? Bakit, bakit ang sarap? Bakit? Eh, naka-chain yun kay Jesus Christ eh. And we feel it. We, we felt that. Na sometimes, ay, yung outline nun, baka hindi na nga nung tinitingnan. But, because, but, but we do not see the years and years of being chained, being disciplined. And the discipline produced freedom. Another example, if you see a sailboat, and I'll call the music team, we'll end here. If you see a sailboat, and you see it on the sea, at the sea rather, at the sea, and you see it's... Uh, s- freely sailing in the vast ocean, we will say, eh, grabe, ang free-free niya, ang free nung sailboat. Like, he, he, can, he can do whatever you want. In fact, if you look at the picture, it's there on your screen. Di ba parang, pag tinanong kayo, what's the first thing that you can say about this picture? You would probably say, uh, peace, uh, freedom, 
uh, no, no rules. Parang ganun, right? Kasi, but try to put that sailboat sa EDSA. Is it still free? Di ba hindi na? In fact, he, he cannot move. He will not move. He will be stuck. Try to put the sailboat in the mountain. He, he, is he still free? No, he's gonna be stuck. Pero pag palitan-palitan mo, yung 4x4 na truck, lagay mo sa mountain, ah, he can be free. Right? Kahit may bato-bato pa dun, vroom, 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 tatalunan niya lang yun. Okay, lagay mo yung 4x4 sa EDSA, ay walang silbi. Okay? Pero lagay mo yung, yung motor sa EDSA, kahit scooter pa yan, ay grabe, he's free. Kahit traffic kayo, wow, walang traffic. Sa akin. Kaya gusto ko sa akin nag-bike eh. Nag-bike ako two days ago sa Cubao. Uh, sa may krame. Diyan, Santolan. I'm free. May bike lane. Kami lang dito. Okay? Um, it's for us. Da- dalin mo yung bike or yung 4x4 sa tubig. He's not free anymore. So therefore, I conclude, freedom is obeying the will the designer. And I, I believe that the reason why we're so frustrated, the reason why we're so tired, the reason why we are so performing, performing and yet there's no fruit, because you are in the wrong lane, my friend. You're at the road, eh, dapat nasa sea ka pala, sailboat ka pala. Or nasa air ka, wala ka naman palang, it's not, that's not your design. You're, you're a submarine pala. You, you're meant to go underwater. Or you are a, uh, um, um, a glider and gusto mo sa edsa ka dumaan. And there is gonna be so much freedom when we finally go to God, our Master, Jesus Christ who makes and frees us and say, Lord, Ikaw na nga. Ikaw naman nakakaalam sa buhay ko. Ikaw naman nakakaalam sa design ko. Ikaw nakakaalam sa my hopes, my dreams, my, my, my passion, my DNA, my skills, my abilities. Ikaw naman nakakaalam, Lord, I surrender to You. And just like the song that we, sa- we sang earlier, Drop everything and submit to Jesus Christ because only through Him we can finally be free. And if the Son sets you free, you are free. You are free. I want to pray for you today. Close your eyes if you are in the in your houses. Okay, magkahiyahiya, no? Um, Pray mo corny kasi nandiyan yung daddy mo. Pabayaan mo siya. Daddy, ikaw din. Close your eyes. Mommy, ikaw din. Stop what you're doing. Close your eyes. And we're gonna pray for true freedom today. And again, I want you to imagine that picture of the body of death. That slows you down. I want you to take the picture of a slave na parang everyday you have to look good just like Louisa I have to I have to solve all of these people's problems or else wala akong kwenta feeling mo lagi kang mapapalayas feeling mo lagi kang kailangan magtrabaho I want you to be free of that today Because again, sabi ni Jesus, Come to me, all you are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I want you to experience freedom today. Lord, thank you. Salamat God for today. Um, salamat Lord for the liberation the freedom um, freedom is not having no master 
Freedom is obeying and being chained to the right master, and that's Jesus Christ. Lord, so I pray, take our dreams, take our hope, take our plans, take our, our, our purposes, our passions, Lord. Direct us kung saan mo kami gustong gawin. Direct us kung ano yung design namin. Direct us, point us to where you really want us to go. Where you want us to stay. I pray, Lord, it's still January. And I pray, Lord, baka kami pa rin yung nagpaplano nung buong January namin. Kung kailan namin gagawin, kung kailan kami magpapakasal, kung kailan kami mag resign kung kailan kami lilipat ng trabaho, kung kailan kami... Lord, it's still, it's still us. But I pray, Lord, that we'll be free by obeying you and being directed by your word. Thank you, Lord. Because we will never be lost. Because your word is a lamp unto our feet and a guide unto our path. And direct us this year. Lord, I just declare, everyone watching this and everyone hearing this is now free because the Son has set us free. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to connect with you. We want to be part of your spiritual life. We want to be part of your discipleship. Uh, because nga po eh, the, our life, it's going to be a constant slave, son, slave, son, slave, son. Magiging ganun yung mindset natin. So we need people that will remind us that say, bro, you're not a slave, you're a son. And this happens in victory groups. I'm so thankful of our victory groups. Next Tuesday, magsa-start na kami ulit mag-meet and we're gonna meet for one year. Okay, I hope that you have a victory group. Join a victory group now. We have people there. Um, if you want to be part of a victory group, pwede bang mag-raise hand emoji ka dyan ngayon because uh, right now they're there. Again, we're live. And makikita nila yan, kukontakin nila kayo. Next week po, on-site na tayo. Again, we still have online. So you can also join us online. 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 4 p.m. See you next week.